What's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent and we're back here on Pokemon Showdown. I'm going to be hitting up OU with Curtis Mega Scissor. It's a cool setup option just to have better sponge hits from Pokemon like SD Bulu, SD Chomp, Landorus T. I especially like it because this scissor is very spit to help out against Mega Zam, Tepu Lele, and Magirna. So the Fizz Def is very nice, especially like we only have Fizz Def for Bandit Kartana. So the rest of the Musab is pretty boring. We just have Bullet Punch reduced to U-Turn. Nothing special over there. Guard Chomp is the Stealth Rector I opted for just because, you know, Heatran likes to switch into Scissor. Just get easy momentum into Guard Chomp, throw out Brocks, get up Earthquakes, go for Z Stone Edge on switches. It's a good time right there. We got Lefty Spit at Pharah right here as a second. Secondary steel. I don't want Scissor to be the only thing that's pressured by Tabulela Magirna. In case this is a win con, I did want a secondary steel to sponge those hits, so Ferrothorn can go ahead and do that for us. Tornadus T right here provides us with a ground immunity and defogger. We got some breaker and speed controller right here, Specs Keldeo. I've been spamming this a lot, I really like Specs Keldeo, and then Scarf Victini right here just for some speed control. I also didn't have a fire on the team, and provides me with three fire assists being Keldeo, Victini, and Chomp, which is not something you see from a lot of my team, so I figured it could be fun, and yeah, you can find the team down below in the description if you do wish to try it out yourself. And let's get right into the games. Okay, I have found a game. Looking at this, my Swords Dance Garchomp does look very nice right here, as does my Specs Keldeo, if I can pressure the... Tepufini, which I can pretty easily do with a V-Create, so that's not going to be that hard. I just have to be very careful about potential Zardex, but regarding lead matchup, I like the idea of just Tornadus initially against Zapdos, so not what I was wanted right here, of course. I could take the turn to go for knockoff, knowing I'll take anything. However, I could also just go ahead and go Garchomp. However, for the HP Ice into that, that would be bad. I'm going to knock off here, as they do go for the HP Ice, trying to catch my Garchomp coming in. That's a good... Okay, I think they're going to go for the HP Ice again here. So what could I even do? Like, Victini is really nice. I don't actually deal with- like, I'd have to somehow get in my guard chomp. I guess I'll go hard into it. Yeah. <laughs> Why not, right? And like, Z Stone Edge will kill them. So like, I could just fire that off here. They don't really like pivot into it all too well. I could also just go for rocks first. As they go for the hidden power, and I could just go for the Z Rock now. Maybe they stay in, but if they go like Tepu Fini, then I just get the damage I need for Caldeo anyway. So I'm able to get rid of Garchomp right there, which is nice, and my Tornadus is still very healthy. Just sucks to lose Garchomp's health, but... I mean, getting rid of Zapdos is really nice, I'm not gonna lie. Here I can go Ferrothorn, is what I'm thinking. Like, even though my Garchomp was really low and they could have clicked Focus Blast, I wasn't anticipating it to come out right there. I'll go for Gyro Ball here on the off chance they want to not go Mandibuzz slash Zard. Yeah, they do go Mandibuzz. Uh, Leech Sheet is pretty fine here. My Rocker is still alive, which is nice too, so that's gonna be very helpful. And honestly, SD Chomp can still wall break if I wanted to later. They do go for a taunt, a little bit annoying there. Hmm. Was anticipating that. I can go out into my scissor then. On the defog, which, I mean, it's a pretty obvious defog, and I'm thinking... I'm thinking they're gonna go for a roost here. So I'm gonna U-turn out on the roost, get some more chip damage off, and bring in my... My Specs Kelio to click Hydro Pump, and... This is going to hurt the Fini a lot if I hit, which I really need to. I cannot surf because I don't think a 2-hit KO is Mandibuzz, even though I'm choice specs, so... I need this damage off for my Victini spammable attack later. As that offensive Fini, jeez, that took a lot right there. I can easily go Ferrothorn here. They may double out into Char- I was about to call it. <laughs> Man, I should have thought- I should have taken one more second. That really sucks. Okay, I'll go Tornadus then. As they just go for the Flare Blitz, that's fine. Keldeo, I think, based on the Hydro Pump damage, Surf is going to blow away that Feeny. Let's just Surf here and do a ton of work. Ferrothorn is still healthy for the Tapu Lele as a Scissor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can just Surf through their team now because of what they've done. They can sack off Tapu Feeny, which is like, based on 40%, this is going to get 2 hit KO'd easily. Um, unfortunately, with lefties, it's not quite the case anymore. I'm just going to stay in anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do it. As, yeah, I figured, like, based on 40, that was definitely some sort of roll. I could take the Moonblast if I had to anyway, so we just knocked them out right there. Tapu Lele comes out again. I'll go Scissor, it's safer than going Pharaoh. Scissor's pretty bad here, just because they have the Manda Buzz and all that. So they do go for Focus Blast, and unfortunately for them, they do miss. Which allows me to go right here for the U-turn. Into the Manda Buzz, and um, just go Keldeo here. Whenever Keldeo wants to come out. Hello, game. <laughs> there we go. And, um... Now I can just click Surf again, and pick up a KO. That'll be able to knock out the Mandibuzz, yeah. Keldeo devours this guy's team after, especially after, like, spit off Zapdos is what I'm assuming that was. Went down. Now this thing is a problem, and I'm not gonna play around with problems. I'm just gonna go for Surf, in case it sets up, as they go immediately for the Psychic. Could not care less about that, because I forced the kill with Chomp here, which is, I think, the more important thing. 
Earthquake should have no problem picking this off. There we go. Tapu Lele has to come in here. And I believe all I have to do is... I want to keep my guard chump. I think I just go... Hard Victini. I'm trying to figure out how I don't get swept by Dragon and Zardax. They did double to it, okay. Hmm, do I lose to this? They do Dragon Nance, huh? I think I lose. No, 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 it's not over yet. I can maybe kill them with the rough skin if they play this badly. Let's go Scissor on the Earthquake. I can't bullet punch it, unfortunately. They're going to Earthquake again here. Yeah, I guess I might mean, I mean, as well try, right? I'm, I'm going to have to kill them with the recoil at the end of the day. That's how this is going to go. And then Victini can easily check the other thing. So here I go Ferrothorn. I don't think they're Roost. They're probably Dragon Claw. So I'll Leech Seed here. Actually, I guess Gyro Ball is fine too, because if they Roost, that's fine. They do go for the Earthquake, and yeah, like I figured I'd, like I could beat the Zard even though it started to Dragon Dance with my Iron Barbs plus Rough Skin, because they couldn't Flare Lutz right there. That's a guaranteed L. Scar Victini just went to the game at this point against Tapu Lele, so that's going to be that, and I will be having another game right now. Okay, my next opponent here has a Gengar, which is pretty cool. If I can pressure Heatran, I can pretty easily win the game with my Curse Mega Scissor, which I am rather happy about right here. Let's go ahead and lead off with my Caldeo, anticipating Lander's T. Because this just allows me to pressure them immediately, which I really like right here. I think I'm going to go ahead and click Secret Sword, anticipating Rotom slash Heatran to, uh, Ferrothorn to come in. So that's going to do a lot of damage. Gengar is 100% coming out here, but I'll go Ferrothorn. As they go back to Landers. Okay, so I guess that was a good mid-ground since they know I'm Specs. I like that play a lot. I think I'll go Tornadus here on the Earthquake because I need Ferrothorn around just to help take on Gengar. And this allows me to simply click... I want to say Knock Off immediately because I didn't want the, the Lerotum coming in to get a Berry. As they crit the Stone Edge, which is really bad because I was max HP and could live that. A little bit lame, but I'll, I'll go Guard Chump here, I guess. And just get a Brox now. That really sucks, but... We can work with it as they go right for the Earthquake there. Um, yeah, my ground immunity being gone is just really rough here. As they go Ferrothorn there. Like, yeah, they get to keep the land down now. Hmm. Uh, not what I wanted at all, but I'll, I'll go for the Earthquake here, weaken the Ferrothorn as they go for the the recovery move. Go Victini here on the rocks before they get up. I mean, Victini does look okay here just due to the fact that I can pressure everything with Kaleo still, but... I don't know, this could have been a lot better. I can Hydro Pump here, and probably 2 it kill Ferrothorn from that percentage, so let's just do that. Oh, never mind, okay. So I gotta go Ferrothorn to prevent them from getting up a Leech Seed, because this is their only switch into Keldeo, right? I think I have to win the game with Keldeo, just due to how that worked out. Which is a little bit unfortunate, for sure. They go Rotom here. I'll just power up this turn as they miss. A little bit of justice. The low Bunny can come in now. They do go back to Heatran, though, okay. I'll just go Garchomp. Like, I don't think it's worth actually risking my my Keldeo on anything. I'll just SD up here on the Protect, because I'm dead anyway, right? And uh, now I can finally start picking up KOs with Keldeo, which is really nice, but... I think I'm going to lose, just because my Tornadus is dead. At least I think I will. I don't, I don't know yet, but... Actually, wait a minute. If Lopunny comes in here, then... It's a roll on the high jump kick, but they could fake out first, which is a problem. Mm hmm This was tough, man. I mean, I can still win with my... Okay, they go Gengar. Maybe it's Psyche MZ. I'll go Ferrothorn on the Shadow Ball. Uh, they could m go for Focus Blast, so I'll go Victini. Yeah, so they do just attempt Focus Blast right there. And uh, right here, I want to say that I just doubled to Keld. I could also V-Create. Like, V-Create's just free. So Heatran does come in, but it's taking damage in this process, so it's not that bad, I guess. I'll just sack off my, my Ferrothorn here to the Roar. Of course it brings me right back to Victini, so now I'm dead on entry. <laughs> you know what, have a trick. I'll trick anyway. Um, okay, what can I do? Is there anything I can do? I don't know, let's sack this guy off to the power of punch. Oh uh, yeah, that's a game, right? I can't beat this due to Scissor being in range of high jump kick now. Maybe if I can crit bullet punch, that's a thing. 
Nope, and yeah, that's the game. I pretty, like Helmet would have been huge here too, right? What can I say? I'll go ahead and forfeit, and I will be right back with another one. Okay, I found another game right here. We got Rain. I'm still trying to find the match where Curse Mega Scissor can win, but we're not finding one. Like, we found Rain, and then Heatran, and all that. Let's go ahead and lead off with the Chomper against Mgirno. Like, this could be Shookaberry, so I'll go Ferrothorn. Mm, I forgot to ignore, apparently, so let's go ahead and hit him up on the Flur Cannon. Yeah, I have a feeling this is Shookaberry, so... I can just spike up here, like, they don't actually deal with- they don't have hazard control. It's- it's definitely on the- the Pelipper, I guess. Let's power up here. Yeah, it's definitely, like, on the- the Pelipper. Rocks? Please hit. Good, okay, that's out. <laughs> nice. Magirna comes back. I think Scissor is a good pivot. It's not doing anything, and it'll give me momentum. The momentum that I want, too, which is nice. Like, I'm tempted to double power up anticipating Pelipper, but... Like, Scissor is so bad in this game, I don't think I should play around with Ferrothorn taking a Focus Blast at all. Yeah, there's the Focus Blast. As I can just go right for the U-turn. As I actually turn out to be faster, which is not at all what I wanted. Yo, should I hard call the Volt Switch? Nah, that's a terrible play. Let's just go, uh, Victini. Yeah, like, I could have gone Garchomp, but that's not a play. Like, that's actually a really bad maneuver. Like, Vikini is good here, too, don't get me wrong. It's because Bolt Strike destroys their team. In fact, if they go Pelipper here, which I think that's all they can... Well, they actually have dual range setters, I just realized. What is this? Politoed? So this comes in. Yo, I'm just gonna Bolt Strike. You're not Shurikening. Yeah, get out of here, you're Ninja. I, I knew they weren't gonna Shuriken right there. They were gonna Hydro Pump or Dark Pulse or something dumb. And they're just gonna go ahead and get out of the game. I'll be right back. Okay, I found a fourth game right here. This player has a very cool web squad consisting of, you know, Rebombi and then some cool abusers being Hydreigon and Nidoking. Megalopony is interesting on webs. I would more so anticipate something like Mega Medicham or maybe even Mawile. Well, the Mawile's kind of too slow, to be fair. So, I mean, I see, I see where they're going. I don't have a Pokemon that prevents Stun Spore from messing me up, so... I guess I'll just get my slow U-turn into... Vic well, no, because webs are gonna be up. Let's just Bullet Punch. Yes, they go for HP Fire instead of, like, trying to get webs up. I always bullet punch again. Like, this thing is not getting up webs the moment my rocks go up, so that's good. I just realized, why does Garchomp kill their entire team with Earthquake? <laughs> Except for, obviously, you know, the... The thing. The... Uh, the Hydreigon. <laughs> I don't know why that took me so long to get. Well, you turn into, like, my Torn here. On the Scald. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, honestly, Hurricane is just so spammable, too. But Knock Off is no drawback. Toxic? Toxic Spikes. Okay, I'm honestly happier to see Toxic Spikes. I can safely defog here just because we'll get an evasion drop on them. They go ahead, Dragon. I will live there. Scarf for Draco, if that's what they have. So let's just go for U-turn and get some good chip off on this guy. Likely Fire Move coming in. I could just go Scissor. Black Hole Eclipse is cool. I mean, I wasn't anticipating it, but it's nice to see that that's out of the way. Hmm. I could go Garchomp. I don't know if my Z-move kills it, though. Let's just find out. Hydreigon. Just an offensive Garchomp against offensive Hydreigon. Yeah, like the Z Oh, that'll kill, right? Yeah, Z-Stone Edge is going to do 66 to 77. They're at 66. Okay, let's bring our guy in here. And uh, click the Z-Stone Edge. Because the Lopin is not Mega Evolved dead, I want to do this now. As opposed to trying to make it work later. Especially because, yeah, they're going to sacrifice Bombi, which I was cool with. Just due to the fact that they know if I get up rocks, then Rubombi's never coming back in, so... That's cool. Also, nice to know that the uh, the thing is Z. So Ice Punch is 100% their play here. I'll go Ferrothorn into Torn. Fake Out or Ice Punch? You don't click High Jump Kick here. Yeah, fake Out. I'll go um, Tornadus on the High Jump Kick. Slash Scout, because they could, you know, do something predicting Protect. Yeah, honestly, if, I, if, they, if Tornadus dies to High Jump Kick plus Return... This could be really bad. They go Nidoking, okay. So, likely Ice Beam coming out here. Let's you turn into Keldeo on that. And then, I think I'm going to double out on the, the Tox Specs. I think that's my best idea. Yeah, just the nature of their team forces me to play offensively. I'm going to go Gark Jump. I have a feeling they're going... Maybe I should just Scald and Privet to Torn on, on the Tox Specs. Yeah, let's just do that. Like, I don't think it's worth doubling to Gark Jump yet. Yeah, I go Tornadus here safely. And I don't really have to mind this. I get defogs and hurricanes, just like last time. As they scald, don't burn me. And now I get to start spamming hurricane due to their evasion drop. And their skulls are going to be doing nothing to me, so. They're really, they're, you're playing around with this this luck right here, okay. Get out of there, Toxapex. What was that? 
Nice roll. Okay. I mean, I, to be fair, I did get the highest roll the last time, I think. Um, if everything really sucks here now. <laughs> yeah, they're going to hate JK. Adds. Go Tornadus and Hurricane again and just hope it hits. If I, if I miss, then I think I lose. Although, if they give me low bunny, then they're 100% losing. They're going to go ahead and disconnect. I guess we'll wait it out. I don't know. Like, this is a huge turn right here. If they stay in with the low bunny, I'll live the return and hit, hit, get my hurricane off, right? I don't fear them switching out because I can defog on whatever they switch out into. And the only bad thing would be if I miss right here, I don't get my defog and I don't knock out low bunny. But if I hit, I knock out low bunny and force my defog. I guess maybe, you know, they can revenge me with the torn, but I can defog later. So yeah, I have to hurricane here. I hope they don't come back because I don't want to risk hurricane missing. <laughs> like in my eyes, if I hit hurricane right here, the game is mine. That's what I'm thinking. Just because I forced the defog later, the T-spec is irrelevant and they will not switch into V-create anymore. Let's see, I mean, they could also just freeze me or crit me. You know, there's always that. I mean, they would go for a return. I guess Ice Punch, it's like what? Two base power difference, 152. Or one, like whatever 102 times 1 1.5 is versus just the 150 for my punch. But it looks like this player is not coming back, so I will get another game. Okay, I found another game ready here. My opponent has a lot of cool stuff. Thunderous, the Gliscor, the Komoo, even Crawdont. I actually think that maybe Curse Mega Scissor can win this game, depending on how they play the Thunders. So let's go ahead and lead off with my... What actually leads well against Thunders? Like if it's Scarf Thunders, everything dies, so... I guess Ferrothorn. Uh, that's not what I wanted to see. This is going for the Rockinators, so I'll go Tornadus here. I don't anticipate they would double out into Thunders. They actually are just going for game, huh? I really wish at this point that I had an attack, like a, a Psychic type move on my Victini, right? That would be great. I'll go back to Tornadus here on Flamethrower. What is this? I'm gonna lose, dude, to this on the preview. This is really lame. Yeah, I'm actually gonna lose right away. I guess I'll go Hurricane here on the Flamethrower. Get this in and try to do something with Secret Sword. Like, at least I get to force their, their drop thing here with Clinging Skills, right? Yeah, their defense goes away and I can spec Secret Sword for a lot of damage there. And maybe I can win anyway, but this is going to be super uphill for no reason now. <laughs> yeah, I might make this a Psychic move on Victini. Like, this puts me in a terrible spot now. I'll BP here and just kill it. So we're fighting an uphill battle, which is not what I wanted to say, you know, when this whole situation arose. I mean, maybe like Scissor can just win anyway, like depending on what they do. I mean, they've already shown their Z, right? Crawdont comes in, which I outspeed. I don't outspeed, I, I lied, but we get rid of Crawdont. And I can just bring in Victini here. Honestly, I might just win this anyway, just based on how things are going. Like, Diancy comes in, I just U-turn here into the the pharaoh get up rocks and then yeah all that good stuff they go for earth power i mean i can't rocks up on this which sucks but i mean i have spikes not rocks i don't know why i said rocks but i do I, okay this is exactly what i wanted because scissor can win the game depending on how they play this mon and this is how they're deciding to play this mon right now so they set up to plus a lot and then do not a lot of damage following that I guess they don't have HP fire on- I mean, I guess HP fire wouldn't kill from that percentage, so I understand why they pressured me. Uh, Diancy comes back, which doesn't kill me without HP fire, so catch me gyroballing again. I'm not trying to set up hazards on your protect, by the way. That takes a lot. I'll go- I'll go Garchomp on the roost, and then... You know, should I rocks up? They're not- they're not going Diancy. Yeah, okay, get out of here. <laughs> set him up with the SD, and then Continental Crush now. Get rid of that guy, and I think I win somehow. Like, I don't know how I, you know, put myself back in this, but... Yeah, Diancy comes in. Uh, I'll just go Pharaoh, like I've been doing on the Moonblast. Just Gyro Ball here. Yeah, and I just click Gyro Ball again. Like, even Z Celebrate, Jirachi cannot do it for them. Or I guess it, it's, it's Happy Hour, right? It's, it's like a bulky set. Yeah, this is over. Let's just click Leech Seed. And then start spamming Gyro Ball. Like, I'm not going to let them pass it to the Diancy. That would be a mistake. Like, this is a losing battle for them, even though they're, they're in here. How many wishes do you have? 14. Yeah, that's not going to be enough. They have to try to get in Diancy on a miss. 
I'll gyro ball here on the off chance that this is the turn they go for it. Yeah, I think they have... Actually, I'm at full health now. <laughs> like, I don't think there's anything they can do. I just gotta not choke, which... I mean, it would be very difficult for me to choke at this point. How many more of those do you have? 12. Okay, we're gonna be here for a minute. I might cut it, but I don't know. I will just play it out. Let's power up again. Yeah. Like, even though I got torn apart, I figured, like, you know, just Scissor plus Victini was really good here. And you know what it was? Garchomp did its work, too. That was vital. You know what? Catch me get up spikes. I'm gonna try to pressure you into going out into your Diancie. Let's Gyro Ball here, in case this is the turn they try to pass. As it isn't, my last Gyro Ball is officially gone. But I still have power-ups out here. I don't have a lot of them, apparently. Okay, let's get this in. Just because this- they don't have a Wish Up right now, so I just recreate and pick up my kill. They have to switch. Like, that's all they can do here. If they don't switch, they lose to Scissor. And Ferrothorn. Well, Ferrothorn has to have power-up at this point, so yeah, they make their best play, which is attempt to switch out. It's not going to help them at all. In fact, my best player is going Garchomp to pressure the Jirachi in case that wants to come in because I just want to make sure they don't get another Wish Up. So there's the Earth Power, that's fine. And um, yeah, I already see what I got to do. I just go Victini after this, click V Create. That's fine, knock me out to do your thing. Yeah, Victini comes back here, clicks V Create. Uh, they do have Protect, so they can potentially try to Power Point stall me, but. I will never let a scenario arise where that's possible. So I'm down to what, three right here, right? No, four, okay, yeah, that's, that's over. <laughs> yeah, hold up. I could try to 1v1 this with Curse. Two stop. Don't flinch me. This this Curse Scissor needs to do its thing right here. Hey, okay, yeah, Curse Scissor wins. I mean, it was gonna win anyway, but at least, okay, maybe I can get a Curse up, that would be cool. Okay, there we go. Yeah, they're like really low on Iron Heads too, so they're gonna go down forfeit because I mean, like Victini just wins in the back anyway. I'll be right back. All right, so these matchups are making me sad. I'm trying to get Scissor to curse up, and then <laughs> found Zapdos and Infernape now. This is really sad. But, I mean, on the bright side, Caldeo and Garchomp kind of win the game. We Garchomp actually, just because I get it drops on like their entire team being everything except for Infernape. Because Infernape could be like a Z with Focus Blast or Close Combat. If they lead Bulu, I might scout for Scarf. If they led Cartana, I would go Torn, maybe anticipating a Choice Band set. Hoopa, I would literally just Z Rock right away, like, get out of here, Hoopa. And then Mawile, I can just. I mean, I guess if it's Intimidate, I might want to pivot out, but I don't pivot out into anything, so. <laughs> yeah. Then again, I don't even know if, like, could Mawile take a minus one Earthquake? I mean, like, Mobile, Mega Mobile has good defense, I know that, yeah, 125, oh, it definitely does, yeah. Minus one, yeah, I'm only doing 69 to 81. So we're in this exact scenario that I, you know, I was, um, just talking about. We'll go Ferrothorn on the play rough. Into Garchomp on the Fire Fang. Okay, I guess knockoff works too. I'll get up Rocks here, because, like, I mean, I at least get something. I'm pretty sure I died a Sucker Punch from this percentage, so. Yeah, they play rough there. Then, don't they just lose their entire team to Victini? That's what it's, lo it's looking at right now. I don't think I died a Sucker Punch. If they have it. Which is, it's actually very important that I don't die a Sucker Punch. I don't think I do though. Like, it's Mega Mawile, I'm aware, but... Come on, Victini, right? Base 100 defense. It's out here. I hope. <laughs> uh, taking this drop is gonna be rough, but... Ideally, they s I mean, if they switch out, I'm claiming whatever comes in. I hope they go Zapdos, because I want the Curse Scissor to do its thing this game. The fact that I haven't gotten to Curse yet is kinda- it's not pissing me off, it's just- I wanna see it do something. Let's see. Uh, Victini, I mean, okay, they do have Sucker Punch, I do live that just fine. That's like a very important thing, that's actually probably what I needed to have a chance in this game as a whole. Uh, Tornadus being alive is great too, because it just spams Hurricane and I guess it knocks the, the Zapdos, right? Uh, honestly, I don't really deal with Zapdos that well now, just because my guard champ's dead, but I could knock it and then pressure it with Victini and Keldeo and all them, so... Maybe that'll work out for me. 
Like even like a defensive Zapdos doesn't take Victini's V create all too well, right? So we scarf against Zapdos. Oh, never mind. Yeah, they can easily roost that up and kill me with helmet if that's what they are. Uh, this might end up being an L then, depending on whether their Zapdos is that fizz def or not. Let's see though. Let's just see what happens. Uh, Infernape comes out, so I mean, pretty safe pivot for them. I go Tornadus on the. Okay, so they're actually. Well, actually, I, I shouldn't be cool with this, should I? Because I'm not the one with a Victini at 14%. I can defog later, though. Let's just knock. Really? Staying in to overheat? I mean, I'm in range of Mach Punch now. The overheat crit's super lame, by the way. Uh, do I live minus two, like, Vacuum Wave? I'm pretty sure I will, so I'll just Hurricane. That's, like, really lame, though. They definitely have priority. So I guess this is like their Sash lead sort of mod. That's actually really cool. Sash and Fernape with their Axe as a lead. It's never something that I really thought of. I should try that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to lose this one to to Cartana. They go Zapdos. Okay. Wish I had Taunt at this point, but... I, I, I have to defog for my for my guy. There's the Roost. Let's find out if you're Helmet. I if you're lefties, I just want to get rid of them. Because if, if on the off chance they don't have Heat Wave on this set, I could actually potentially get a 1v1 going with my Scissor. Let's go Keld. Yeah, on Vacuum Wave. I knew they would have it, right? That was a pretty obvious thing. Uh, just gonna Surf. Just because, like, I don't really fear Tapu Bulu coming in. I don't want Zapdos coming in at all. Just win the tie, Keldeo. I mean, it looks like they're Focus Blast as their last move, which I, which can miss, which is nice. And this guy's already shown that he's willing to keep things in that shouldn't stay in, so... I'm not gonna try to call Tapu Bulu by clicking AC Wind. Hmm. Do they have Heat Wave? If they're Roost, Discharge HP Ice. That would be great. Is this, is this Assault Vest? You are very not Assault Vested. I'm just gonna hope you're not Scarf. Because I'm not switching into your Dark move anyway. <laughs> like, get out of here. If you're Scarf, then it's gonna suck, but... We will deal with it. This thing's in range of Bullet Punch now, too. Like, Scissor can easily win. Just the Zapdos and a bit more chip on Infernape that I need. Hmm. I can get them in a Volt Turn Vortex right here. If they go Tapu Bulu and don't double out. Like, if they go Tapu Bulu and I were to... Go Scissor and they were to just Horn Leech. I get a U-turn into Zapdos, bring back Keldeo. I either get the damage that I need on Zapdos with Hydro Pump, or they have to go back to Tapu Bulu and try to double again. That's the situation that I'm looking at right here. I hope they do not time out. That would be... Like, this is a game that I actually want to see, you know, be played out. That would be nice. So this would give me the Hoopa, which is cool. Kartana can come in here, which... I mean, I'm just going to go Scissor on. No, actually, I'm going to go Tornadus in case it's SD Timid. Because that could just win for them. And while Tornadus is good, I don't think it's that valuable. Hmm. Oh, hello. Do I... I mean, I don't have a switch in. Nothing is actually going to pressure this besides this Pokemon. Of course. I mean, now they could just get... Okay, ideally they try to roost and I don't get paralyzed. But, come on. I, I literally went with Curse Scissor if I don't get paralyzed there. I hate Zapdos, man. The paralysis is the worst thing about this mon. At least I force kills with Victini, though. There's that. But I guarantee you it gets paralyzed immediately anyway. Come on, just don't get paralyzed, Kelio, and Scissor wins this game. Kelio. Okay, they go Tapu Bulu. So it's a weekend. It's a weekend. That's all I need. Let's go Scissor. On Banded Stone Edge. Okay, that's not what I wanted to see, but it shouldn't end up mattering. Let's go for U turn, in case they try to get the Zapdos healed up here. I think, yeah, that's my best play. Don't crit. Good. Okay, that's what I needed too. Man, these crits. Okay, I go Victini here and force a kill. I think I might be able to win anyway. Scissor being chipped down is terrible against Cart, but it's not the end of the world. I, I always V-create here for my kill. Ideally, they give me Zapdos. That would be beautiful. What am I roosting up on, though? I guess this thing has to be locked into a grass move, or Carton has to be locked into a grass move for me to have, try to heal up. Okay, nice. Zapdos is down. Of course, you know, it's, it's Zapdos. Why not? So at this point, like, everything's useless. Like, my, my Victini is useless, my Keldeo is useless. If both of these were not paralyzed, I think the game was already over. I genuinely think I would just win the game from this position. 
Now, I also think that Tornadus can just win on its own outright anyway. Okay, so here's a death. I could easily win the game with Scissor there too, and actually I think I lose now, because my Tornadus is not going to have the health that it needs to take a Vacuum Wave. Overheat's there, um... Yeah, I don't know what to say. This was, um, not a game. Yeah, I don't know if I take a Vacuum Wave, but I'm going to try to force my kill here with Hurricane and maybe... Just maybe make something happen. Okay, so nice justice there, I'll take it. Especially because I can Hurricane here safely due to the fact that the evasion drop is there, and I should live their vacuum wave. Man, double para is ridiculous. At least my Tornadus is not paralyzed. That would be the worst thing if Tornadus got paired. So nice, I get rid of their Mon right there. I might be able to do this and this, are you really playing off a miss right now, man? Get out of here, I'm not missing. Should I U-turn? Yeah, I feel like I have to U-turn. Into Pharaoh. On the wood hammer. Then, like, it's... I think I take a Sacred Sword of Torn from that percentage. Z Tailwind, okay. So, once Z Tailwind is gone, all I need to do is hit a Hurricane. So, um... Yeah, it's gonna come down to me hitting Hurricane after all that. Because I go Ferrothorn here. Unless there's Substitute. If there's Substitute, then they just win anyway. There is a Sacred Sword. My click here is always U-turn, because if they... I can't let them set up another Tailwind by not killing me. Leaf Blade, and, um, yeah, I have to hit a Hurricane to win. Come on, Torn, just don't hit to the left. Mm. Okay, nice. We're able to hit and win the game, but, man, I hate Zapdos. <laughs> Zapdos is the most ridiculous Pokemon. I'll be right back. Alright, I have another game right here. You know what? We're doing exactly what I like to do whenever the featured Pokemon did not do work. Even though they have a Heatran and a Tox Specs, I'm going to expect the Diancie curse immediately. And uh, I was hoping they would just protect or do something dumb, but they decided to go right for that. Let's go Garchomp. Go to Barox because the thing isn't Mega Evolved and go from there. You don't stay in here, right? Yeah, okay, get out of there. And um, I'll go Tornadus. Just because if I lose Chomp, I'm losing to Toxpex, so like... Can't really stay in at all. They can go Diancie here if they want to, but I hope they go Heatran and I can knock that thing off. That would be better. They do go Diancie, unfortunately. I'll U-turn out here into Scissor. On the Hidden Power. Jeez. Yeah, I'll roost up here. On the Heatran. I think I go Keldeo. On the Magma Storm. This guy's not getting up his rocks ever. I mean, well, he has me trapped in here, so I might as... Okay. So this is something I need gone now. I'll go Tornadus on the T-Spike. That T-Spike really sucks because I'm trying... Actually, wait a minute. Does it even? I'm going to knock off first. Get rid of this thing. This... T-Spike... They don't have Haze. There's no way they have Haze on this. It's Scald Recover. They don't have haze. Okay, that's huge. The fact that they don't have haze. Okay, cool. Continental Crush here. Pick up the KO. Never mind. Pick up no KO whatsoever. Hmm. I just want to confuse this thing. Stop, Torn. <laughs> I think I win anyway, but there we go. That's all I needed. They don't have Haze on this, do they? They do have Scald, though, which is super annoying. Hit yourself. Have a trick. Okay, well, I'm Helmet now. That's their choice scarf. <laughs> so they can, like, try to get up rocks, I guess. I'll just go for U-turn. As they do go for the scarf into rocks. I'll roost up here. Lander just doesn't 1v1 me. So I'll just curse up. They have Dragon Tail. Okay, so I knew they would have something for that. The Toxivex comes back in. 
All right, you know what? You want to get spike stacked? If that's how we want to play it here, let's, let's make it happen. I'll gyro ball here on the taunt. Power up here on the toxpex. Yep, there we go. Scissor can come out here. You turn out, I guess. They're going for Scald, right? Let's go Tornadus. Hurricane. Doesn't kill it, unfortunately. But this thing is soon dead. As so they tried to dragon tell me there, okay. So what do I roost on? Toxapex? Yeah. I think Curse Scissor can do it. This doesn't knock me out. So let's get that out of there. We got to see Curse Scissor. What did it do? Weaken the chomp. I wanted to win this game. Come on, Curse Scissor. You got this, right? If anything, it'll prevent Tox it'll have to it'll force Toxapex to use so many recoveries, it'll it'll stall out the game like that. Yeah, so Bullet Punch can knock that out now. It's BP here. Knock that boy out. Tornadus comes in. Tornadus dies from 30, actually. Yeah, so Pex comes in. I roost up here. Uh, scout for the Z. Unless this does this kill anyway. Nope, it doesn't, but the Z didn't do anything. So I knock that out, and I think I'm okay. I roost up here. Roost up again. I don't care if they burn me. I'm just going to try to waste as many things as I can right here. They're going to use so many recoveries by the time this is done. In fact, they're going to run out of skulls. See how much we're doing. Not doing bad damage. Alright, you know what? I'll cut to the end of this and I'll be right back. Alright, so I did it. The guy eventually realized that he's not beating my Curse Mega Scissor plus Bullet Strike with Teeny 1v1. And he did go ahead and forfeit the game. So I hope you all enjoyed. That will be in the end of the session. I believe it was at least 7-1, 6-2, something along those lines. So very successful and I'll see you next time.